Hi, and welcome back to Neo Geo Alpha to Z. We're up to episode number three, Blazing Star. It's got a nice holographic label on this cartridge. I'd also like to take a moment and dedicate this video to Charlie Cat, who's been commenting, liking, and sharing these videos over on the Atari H forums. Thank you, Charlie Cat. Really appreciate that. And back finally after a long hiatus. Is, yes, the other Joe to tackle Blazing Star. Let's get started. Have you played Blazing Star before? Never. Right. All right, so you got your meter in the bottom left there that charges, right? That's your okay. charge shot, regular shot. I was going to do the power-ups. Several games we've played along the same lines of this. Oh, there's a number of shooters that I think this takes after. Probably, um, like your R-type. Smooth. You're, look at that. you're looking pretty unstoppable right now. I know it gets harder as we progress, but the big one is closing in. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're looking pretty good. It's almost one of those cases, though, when for a, for a lot of shooters, and I, and I know this is probably just me, but there gets to be so much shit oh, on screen, screen yeah. that I can't even focus on yeah. like what what's my mm -hmm. shots versus what's coming at me versus what's enemies versus what there's just so much happening that oh, yeah. my eyes just wow that took like no effort whatsoever on your part to uh, to get through that so at the bottom yeah throughout each level you get the opportunity to collect uh, the letters from the word lucky looks like you pick them all up at C. Stage two, who's going quick? How many stages total? Good question. Probably five or six, I would guess. It's probably like 12 and we'll be here all night. Mm -hmm. So I'm noticing like that shield out front is absorbing some of the enemy fire. So you started to, I mean, we were just talking a little bit that I think the first video we did was probably about a year ago this time. Yeah, let's flash that up here as a look back. Oh boy, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be good as far as cinematography, the camera. You might the, be surprised. The audio. I think kind of you have new equipment. That's what I'm saying. I think yeah. leaps, leaps and bounds beyond. I mean, it's just been a year, and the amount of uh, knowledge, I guess, just picking up and doing things has uh, has greatly increased just with practice. I'm not saying I'm Scorsese by any stretch of the imagination. All right, so I'm just to remind everybody. Yeah. This is the uh, Alpha through Z. Alpha to Z. Yeah, yeah. That's correct. Have you been watching during your hiatus? Oh, of course. Right. I'm sure you have. One of the subscribers. Yeah. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Be sure to like. Okay, so you got lucky. What's yeah. That, what's that get you at the end? Uh, probably more points. I was hoping for something a little more exciting when you get lucky. You know, yeah, right. I do know. I do yeah. know what you mean. See, this is the kind of humor and, and banter I think that we've been missing with you gone. Probably just lost five subscribers. Yeah, I think the last time we did something was uh, after the stadium series. We yeah, did the hockey right. game, I which. Remember. And, and I think we actually had a problem. Um, I, I, the, I, the camera that we're filming on right now, I had just picked up not, ah, oh shit. Uh, just prior to that event, and I, you're fooling around with it, and I, I think we had some problems even with one of the, the Genesis games that it crashed on us while we were playing, and I kind of had to piece together what I, I could just to put a video together. Yeah. but. I think that was the last time that you were. I think so. Yeah. I mean, and not in just the Jersey too. Right, yeah. and not just filming. I think that was might have been the last time you, you were here playing games. Could have been. Got to be later there. Yeah. Oh, see, there's that boss timer too at the top. Oh yeah, I see that. Wow, I just got uh, creamed again. Finishing off here. Yeah, that's not. It's like right on top of me. You beat it. Alright, so Lucky, what do you got here? 
Whoa. Nice bonus. Stage three, you got the odds. Go ahead, here you go. But yeah, I was saying one full year right, at, at this point for... And I, and I think we started with a, a Neo Geo game with Street Slam, the basketball game. You remember that? That's right. But it's slowly trying to get you to integrate onto the Neo Geo platform. Hey, I, I love these games. I mean, back in the day, we couldn't afford this stuff. No, nobody could have. Well, I should say nobody. But yeah. you're, nobody growing up where we grew up afforded this. Right. All right, so reflecting back on the year. Yeah. What exactly would you say you accomplished with the videos and what do you... With the channel? What do you think when you see some of the comments from the subscribers and uh -huh. what the folks... From both of like them? To both say? of them? You got more than two. I, I, you know what's cool about it is that there's not... Um, there's not a huge following as far as like we don't have like a thousand subscribers, right? There's I think 160 at the time of this filming. And what's cool about it, though is I don't do a lot of promotion or advertising or you know what I mean I don't yeah. I don't spam forums or Facebook or anything like that. Um, I'll send out like a tweet. And I'll post it on the uh, Scarlet Sprites Facebook page, but that's it, you know. And so it's kind of like this organic thing with the fan base like yep. if people find it they want to watch it they like it great um, but I'm not going to hound people or you know, that kind of thing it's just not kind of not me or who I am what was your question what, what would you reflect back on what are some of the yeah. more memorable experiences I think, I think the thing that was was really fascinating to me is I mean really just doing this was something like that you and I would do anyway. We would just be sitting playing games, enjoying talking about the week, or sure, um, maybe not personal things so much when the camera's rolling. But um, this is essentially 90%, maybe a little less of what we would be doing naturally anyway. And it's kind of fun, just kind of capturing that because you know you as a best friend getting older we don't see each other as much so it's kind of fun having those things that i can go back and reflect on on youtube there you, you go. know what i mean yeah. so like street slam the, like, I, I probably would not have remembered that we played that a year ago you know what i mean like last august all right, and, so. there, and there it is captured. I mean, the channel in some ways is, is almost a selfish endeavor in that it's capturing moments for yeah. me, personally. Okay, so on TED Talks, yeah. radio, NPR, you familiar with that at all? Yeah. Not, but I've never I've, to hear on this video game. Right, right. Know. Let's just talk yeah. all about NPR. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but there, there was something on there recently. You may have heard about it, but along the lines of what you're saying, this guy has an app. It's like one second, I think it's called, or like one second a day. I, yeah. I don't know exactly, but all I know is he filmed one second of his life every day for a year, a couple of years. Okay. And it's like what you're talking about here. It's like a video documentary of yeah. his life. Yeah. But, you know, along the same context of what you're saying about being able to remember some of the things from the past. Yeah, I mean it's fascinating because there's just so much that happens in the course of, like, you know, not not just a week but a, a day, sure. you know, as an adult, and you, you don't always remember things that aren't like vacations or big standout things. And That's just, right. I don't know. It's kind of cool to have, you know, little moments and, and things to, to look at, and if other people enjoy watching it or, or seeing it, all the better. Right. So that's just kind of like looking at it from my selfish perspective, but I think uh, the Nintendo Classic was obviously something that was big for the channel when the hack came out for that that allowed you to put the entire library on the, the NES Classic, and I was pretty pumped about that that one night, and the next day while I was at work, I was thinking, that'd be really cool to just kind of throw a video together on that and, and, and do it. And I did, and, and I, I think even, again, as of this filming, that's probably the most successful video that we've had on the channel. Yeah. 
and which is interesting because I'll be honest, the video itself is is, is not that good. Um, I think it's filmed with uh, a but shitty. You all loved it. I think it's it's filmed with kind of a shitty camera. Um, I was sitting in the living room, so not in the base. Like there's no ambiance as far as like the arcade machines or the shelf of game. There's there's not, none of that. Yeah. But at the time, it was a very popular topic. People were interested in it, and it got a lot of hits. And I mean, it's not something huge as some of other people's videos, but for a small channel like this, having 10,000 views on a video is yeah, it's impressive, is, is, sure. is good. Um, and I think, or at least I, you know, from what I remember at the time, it it got a lot of people. To subscribe and, and kind of see some of the other things that um, you know I, I'm doing and what's on the horizon, right? What's coming up, right? So it's funny you ask. Stay tuned. There's a there's a series that um, I, 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 I hinted at last last night mm -hmm. uh, on another video that involves uh, another partner, so not necessarily yourself. Mm -hmm. Although if you want to partake in this, um, I'll, I'll be glad to. Uh, I'm glad to have you on for that, but uh, I, it's different. It's similar to what we're doing now, yeah. but there's another element added to it. But I think it'll be cool. Cool. I think I just rambled, because I'm trying to talk around it without disclosing what it is. Yeah. Not that it's a big secret, but I, I just kind of want to save it so that people actually are interested in checking it out. Yeah. Yeah, so I think that's what's on the horizon. I mean, looking back on the year, yeah, so the Nest Classic and those videos being um, being big. I, I mean, I touched on the the Retro Pie a little bit mm -hmm. and, and putting one of those together and I did a few videos on that. And that's kind of a direct spinoff of the Nest Classic because so many people couldn't get those. Right. And, well, here's a way to... Yeah, I mean, there's there's some some gray areas there, uh, legality wise, but maybe not so gray even. But um, here's a way to play all those games and come up with um, a device that'll allow you to do the same thing without having to um, be up at three o'clock in the morning waiting on a pre-order and, and whatnot. So I think that directly spun off on on it. And and some of those videos, I think, again for a smaller channel, did pretty well. The tough thing with those, I, I, you know, I got a lot of emails and um, comments even in, in the comment section, but I think those videos generated more direct emails to me than yep. maybe anything else. And I, I really do appreciate hearing all the positive feedback and sometimes uh, constructive criticism and, and that sort of thing from people who watch. Um, but. It, it kind of turned my email box into a help desk platform. And so while I, I definitely um, you know, want to help out the people who are watching and, and who are supporting the channel, at the same time, working you know, 45, 50 hours a week, trying to lead my personal life, do videos, I, I, it, it, I can't come home to an inbox full of requests and, and help everybody. Oh, I just got totally steamrolled there. So what you're telling the fans now is if, if their stuff starts hitting the spam folder yeah, right. on purpose, yep. yeah, it wasn't his fault. I, I think I'm politely saying, I, it's even though I want to be, you know, be able to help everybody, I, I just can't. And so doing those types of videos, um, it, it's tough, and I feel very badly about that, and I, and I want to help everybody, but um, I could... I mean, You're only I, one man. Correct, and it, it doesn't sound like a lot, but if there's 15 to 20 emails in there, everybody with their separate issue, and it's already 6 o'clock, and I just changed clothes from work, um, yeah. I think I learned that, that doing more instructional stuff is good and it's and, and people like it and you'll get hits but at the same time you're also going to generate uh, people asking a lot of questions that you don't necessarily have time to answer mm -hmm. which ends up being unfair to them so watch email and comment at your own risk well i want people to comment yeah. i want people to like the videos that's a good point i would actually prefer that all that goes into the comment section because 
sometimes there's people that have the same Long problems. Yeah. So post that in the comment section and then maybe somebody else will answer you and you know we kind of get this group thing going where um, you know, we're all kind of on the same page doing the same thing, having the same problems or whatever. And even for something like this, um, you know, Blazing Star or ne another Neo Geo shooter, keeping that all confined in the comment section allows others to participate in the conversation and you don't have to rely on my availability, which um, hasn't been great lately. Yeah, the stages are short. Somebody wakes the noise up. Mm -hmm. Was that DJ Jazzy Jeff? So, I don't think I, I mentioned it before, and I know you're kind of tied up here a little bit, but no, no, no. Uh, this is a sequel to another game on the Neo Geo called Polestar, which is, is probably my favorite shooter on the system. But as uh, fate would have it, this is titled Blazing Star, so we're actually doing this first because, well, it's Alpha Z sure. or Alpha Z, but, so this, but this is actually after Full Star. Both, both of these are great games in their own right. 11 seconds there on the yeah, boss timer. That. That's that clock, he's underwater. Yeah, that is true, it's a good point. I don't know what's going to happen here. If you're gonna... Up. So I think that must be for points, right? So you got to finish them under that clock in order to get full credit. Took a little bit for that Stage one. Stage five. Oh, you missed the Y. What about you? So I know you've been busy yourself lately. What lessons learning do you have about filming for YouTube over the past year? I've posted one video. Uh-huh. Kind right. of bizarre or random. Sure. You saw it recently, I think. Is that the fox running yeah. in the neighborhood? <laughs> Just random, Right. you know, commute to work. Fox running down the sidewalk for at least two blocks. Uh-huh. Just right along with me. As yeah. I'm driving. Right. Check it out anyway. Do you, you think? Do you, was he? Um, I mean, he's obviously out of his element. I, I kind of felt bad for him. Like here, where where I live, there's a lot of things being built, and there's just like deer. Well, that's really hard to gauge those turbines, like how they're turned, and when you can pass. But there's just deer, like in my backyard, mm -hmm. and it's it's not. I mean, there's a tree line, but it's not really... It's not the woods. No. Um, behind here. a big mountain. I do, I, do, I do. So I, I get that that's where they're coming from, but it's, it's just strange and in some ways kind of sad. I mean, they're standing like right behind the builder sign. This is interesting. Yeah. I liked on the one level you were playing, uh, so this is, you know, obviously this would be considered a horizontal shooter. But it was making you go vertical, right? On that that level, that particular well, that part, that's that one spot of the level you were forced to do that. This is a lot. Like this is what I'm talking about. Oh yeah. The background, the enemies, my fight. Like it's hard for me to focus on what's actually happening. There's a C and a K. Yeah. And both. And I missed the U at some point. There was one more almost video. Okay. That I was affiliated sex with. Sex tape. It was a sex tape. A sex tape of two mating beetles. Okay. There was a mishap with the video footage. My uh -huh. wife accidentally deleted it. Oh. Uh -huh. But I had never seen anything like it before. I even looked on YouTube to see right. if there was something else. See if you else. were the first to capture such a event. In it, I w I'll say it wasn't entirely unique. If you do search, you're going to find other beetle sex videos. Right. There's but, something I didn't think we'd be talking about tonight. But the penis. On, on this beetle, the size of the thing. I've never seen anything like it. This is why you need to be on more often. At the end. Mm -hmm. Of the penis? Well, the color of it too. Very, mm -hmm. very unique. Right. Green. But at the end, 
the female reaches around with one of her back legs and right. was pushing the penis out of her. Like she's done. And guess what came out of that? Beetlejuice. I don't even know where I am right now. Say it two more times. I got five minutes on the clock from the boss timer. Did you notice that? That's a problem. Like, that they're giving you that much time to fight this thing. Jesus. You notice the slowdown right now? Do I see the that? That happened to me on the last one. I kind of appreciate it, to yeah, be honest with you. Yeah, I agree. See, I'm actually trying to almost not collect, but use that shield to... Mm -hmm. Whoa. See, and then that one sneaks oh, around. Yeah. You start taking that fire from the front. Wow, just, this is just crazy. What a level. Well, the good news is you got four and a half more minutes of this. Great. Maybe even longer. I can't even... Yeah. It's hammering on the button right here. Whoa. See, and then those bullets come in from the back. That's, that's tough. I do like the... Um, the robot like sentries like yep. in a shooting game like that's pretty cool like yep. I, I don't know how many other games have that but as opposed to just other ships or whatnot you know mm -hmm. enemies. Welcome. I know it's I think when we started this it said 1998 so I mean we're starting to turn a corner there with games and Seeing more and more, and I, and I expect more and more graphically, but this is pretty good. I like how everything's drawn out, and the um, I, I think the graphics are pretty good. Yeah. I know, I know the one thing that people debate about with this, as well as Polestar, some of the like the enemy deaths when the ships explode. Right. And that, wow. Like that, what was it gonna yeah. do? What was it gonna do there? It's kind of a pre-rendered graphic. It, that explosion, and I know people don't like that, but for me, I don't really care. Putting money in a machine. Right. Uh, yeah. Know, yeah. Uh, to, well, to even attempt this. Here. Well, it's interesting that you said that because uh, that's, I think I made that comment on one of the other videos. I think Alpha Mission, and, and granted, I was not great playing that. Not that I'm any uh, Zen master here at this, but that, that game, I really had no. How did I know that was gonna come from the back and like back me over? I, I I didn't know that game very well or understand it when I first started playing it, and and even after having gone through, I think I ended up doing an addendum. I felt it was necessary to qualify some of the things I said or change change my opinion. I just didn't understand the the gameplay enough, and I was getting creamed left and right, much like right now. But reading some reviews and stuff on the game after the fact I, I wasn't alone in that and people are saying it kind of gets better with multiple plays but that's tough for an arcade game because um, <laughs> you're, you're putting a quarter in every time you're sure you know so I'll just stay up here you know this kind of reminds me of I guess, but Super Mario 3. Wow. Ship kind of I didn't expect that. Around. Oh, yeah. At the end, like the, you mean at the end when you're on yeah. there? Yeah, I can see what you're saying. A C. That's not pretty good, is it? I'm surprised you didn't got that one. That's not Thank that you. you were doing well. Right. Don't come back for another six months. It's pretty cool in the back. Little uh, poses. Mm -hmm. you know, stuff like that. Yeah, the, the background. That's what I was saying. I really like the level designs and the. Uh, I have a bad hunch. Huh? It's like a big, is that a snake? Oh man, there's pink bullets. But the entire screen is just like enemy fire right now. I don't need to tell you. Oh, there's a little baby in there. You see the embryo? Yeah. Little baby head. Chumba Wumba. Here, here you go. Chumba Wumba. Look at this. Play the music in the can, background. Can you imagine? Play the music in the background. It's a little copyright violation. I can't do that. Five seconds worth, not even. Oh, he's just all over you. Waking up. Yeah. Damn thing's still asleep. What's this? He's... I can't imagine. Oh boy. This is bizarre. Oh, wow. 
Wow. Sure. That just, things just got suddenly, like, really, really worse. That doesn't look good. I don't think your little uh, shield's gonna absorb that. Right. Part of it's organic. What's or that organ sticking out at the end there? Right. Like, part of it's organic. Like, it's like him and his, it's like his veins and stuff. That... Yeah, it's tough. Alright, so there's, you know, something in the news. People getting those little implants in their thumbs. You know, the little webbing. No. Hear about no, that? I don't. I, I don't know. Yeah. So then, uh, like, I guess when they go into doors in their offices or try to sign on their computers. Yeah. The RF sensor. Okay. Lets them in without having to have a badge and do you know, that kind of stuff. What happened? What, I don't have a, a thumbprint. Now I unlock my phone with my fingerprint. True. So why do I need a like an RFID in my thumb? I already have the unique print. That's good. Right. Like a, yeah. like a fingerprint scanner, and you have, like, that's how your phone works. They're using it in the webbing, okay. implanting the device. Yeah. I think what you're saying is, why not just put a sensor? Like just a put thumb a thumb, thumb yeah. I don't, then I don't have to have, like, become... Because like, they have some, them on laptops and stuff, too. Right. Yeah. I don't have to become some kind of, like, goddamn cyborg to work my job. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> it just seems a little strange. Oh, there's, there's some more sea monkeys coming out of him. Yeah. What is that organ wow. at the top, please? Right. See it on the I, top I, right I'm, there? Yeah, Undulating. You're, you're obsessed with pieces I, well, I just on so. No, no. no. That's, I, I was just thinking that that would be a weakness on him. Right. Vomiting. Right. There you go. That's great. We'll be singing. Yeah, the scrolling text for the, the actual end, but no real like cinematic with like the ship flying out or... You just had a baby. Yeah, that's, that's a little disappointing. That was Blazing Star. Thanks for helping to cross that one off the list. Glad to help. There's another one that's coming that I really, really am going to need assistance with. That I'm I here won't. for the team. Yeah, I'm gonna need help with that one. As always, thanks for watching everyone. We'll catch you next time.